Do you have a super secret list in SharePoint or Microsoft list that you don't want really anybody else to see besides you and a handful of other people, but you need a bunch of people to add stuff to the list and you want to send them a form and a link? Well, stick around. We're going to show you how to do it. It's super easy. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into that list and you're going to go up into the command bar and you're going to look for the forms button. You're going to click on that puppy and you're going to say new form. And you're going to give that form a name like happy form. Yeah, I misspelled it completely, but that's okay. Um, and then you got your fields right here. You can make adjustments or you can just send it as is. And then we're going to click on send form, copy link. And now everybody's got access to the link. You just shoot that link wherever you need to shoot it or paste it or whatever. And anybody who is part of your organization will be able to click that link and they'll see this they'll be able to go in and fill that puppy out and then hit submit there you go it's that simple that easy all right so now we're going to break it down and talk about it a little bit more and give you some insights and if there's anything in particular that you want to see that maybe i don't cover let me know in the comments what more you want to see also let me know are you using this all right so please like share subscribe and we're going to jump right in and show you how to use this bad boy. So let me go ahead and close this. And I'm going to show you real quick how to get rid of them because I got a bunch of garbage in here. So I'm going to click on the triple dotty dot dots and delete, delete the form and then delete this form. And then it's as if nothing ever happened. And also I'm going to simulate something here. When you create a new list, typically, well, yeah, when you create a new list, it inherits the permissions from the site itself and if we go into our permissions after having created that form looky there surprise your list now has unique permissions all right so we're going to pretend like we're going to delete unique permissions and then ba bam now it's inheriting from the site which is the way it would have been when it was born when i first created that uh, that list you don't believe me try it yourself create a brand new list go to list permissions you're going to see it's inheriting from the site all right cool now we're going to pretend oh it's not what i wanted to do it's not what i wanted to do but i'm going to go here and there we go and we are back in the list so now it's as if it had just been born uh inheriting from the site as far as permissions go because basically this is one of the gotchas if you will is that once you copy that link it's as if you have changed permission so that um, all of your people will be able to have their results added to this list when they fill out that form otherwise it will be blocked and they wouldn't be able to add anything to it uh, but rest assured they should not be able to actually read anything okay in this if anything they'd be able to see their own items but we'll get to that later on all right so you got your brand new list and we basically want to be able to send out a form to people uh, regardless of their access to this list so we click on forms and if you don't have any forms and one's created any forms this is what you'll see you'll see new form so you're going to fire that off new form and you can uh, label it will be a little bit more elegant this time okay and then you can go in here and you can make adjustments according like i can rename this you know i can put a description in i mean we're not going to get into all the all the nitty-gritty unless you need that like if you want more you know diving into like every single little droppy down you know and every single thing you can do let me know but there's so much like in every piece of technology there's like a million things you could go into so I kind of give you enough to get started get you the high level and if you get hungry for more you know where to find me uh, I can tell you that we will be doing another video talking about some of the branching option that is coming see there's branching okay we'll talk about that in another video now we've got everything we're just gonna go straight up just we're not gonna make you know crazy changes and then we can go in here and click on send form this is when your permissions are going to get broken all right when you copy that link you copy the link now watch remember we re-inherited so we should not have broken permissions on this list when we go to permissions but i guarantee you it is going to be there you go you can't delete unique unless you have unique all right 
So that's just a little word to the wise. And what does that mean? That means that if there are any uh, permissions adjustments made at the site level, they will not apply to this particular list because this particular list has unique permissions. Keep that in mind. May not be an issue, but just keep it in mind. All right, so there you go. Hopefully this helps you uh, fulfill your needs. Again, it's a good way to be able to have people fill this form out without being able to actually get to this list. With that, do the very best you can with what you got. Remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.